I'm Polly Bath, and I travel around the country uh, working with improving behavior, anything we can do to make our day great and essentially kind of curb those things that interrupt instruction. Today, I'm going to answer a question that comes from middle school. Here goes. Social media brings so much drama into my eighth grade classroom, but it seems like banning cell phones is difficult. What can I do? Well, you're right on the banning cell phone thing, all right, because that's like banning having a lunchbox. Everybody's got one, right? Like, we're kind of born with them now. It is essentially part of our lives. So one of the things that we always fall short of is teaching people how to use the device and teaching people what to do with social media. The bottom line around social media, folks, is that people are somewhat wired to compare themselves to one another. Like we all compare them, we compare ourselves. We see something when we said, no, I wonder how that would look on me. Or, you know, we see somebody having a grand old time on social media and it, you know, we're supposed to get excited and feel good about it. But sometimes we get a little angry and upset because we wish we were having a good time. And that's just a natural response. It's, you know, people. Because humans are more connected than we are, than we think we are. So we have a lot more connections than we think. And we think a little more alike than we think we do. So one of the things we've got to start teaching our kids, I think around that fifth, sixth, seventh, and especially as we're going into high school, um, while we have them in middle school, is what do you do with comparisons? How do you respond to something that you find yourself getting kind of sucked into. Because as we know, with any behavior, it's all about your response. You can only control your response. And I don't often hear a lot of purposeful teaching to our kids around that. Let's start using these social media examples. Let's start really empowering our kids to take back the control. Teach them that every time you create or bring this drama around something that's posted on social media, you're essentially giving up your control to somebody else. And there's one thing that middle schoolers don't like, and that's having somebody else control them. Once they learn that, they can feel a little more empowered and they can walk away from something and hopefully change their perception so, two things you're teaching. It's natural to compare ourselves to others, especially on social media. What do I do with a response and take back my personal control? Thanks for watching today. And if you have uh, questions that you might like to see answered in future videos, put those in the comments below. 